Oh, what's up, people? How are we doing? Uh, okay, I've got an interesting one for you today. This is different. So, if you know me and you know my channel and you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, why are you not subscribed? All you've got to do is click that little button below, hit subscribe. However, if you are subscribed and you know my channel, you know that I'm really engrossed in the music stuff, uh, music streaming, whether it's Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Deezer, Tidal. In fact, I'm actually working on a video right now with Amazon Music uh, because you asked me to. So you ask, I do. And just so you know, I love reading through all of your comments. I love it. I love answering your comments. I love reading through your comments. So please make sure that you comment um, because there's plenty to look at here. However, today's video is all about is how we move Okay, scenario. You have been with Spotify for, I don't know, say we've been to Spotify for five years. You have curated, uh, I don't know, let's say you've created a hundred playlists. You've got all different types of genre in each playlist. You have hours and hours of handcrafted, picked, musical, missional brilliance that's in each one and you have taken so much time to design your album art and share it and your friends follow and all this kind of stuff and for whatever reason you are now thinking hey what's going on over at Tidal or Amazon or what's happening over there on Apple Music but you kind of think oh I've got to go but then I'm going to have to create all my playlists and I'm going to have to do it all again no you don't I'm about to show you now on this is a little company called Soundis. Now, not only that, I have partnered with them for this video, and the reason being is, is because it is a godsend. I kid you not, it is that good. And so, and this is how good this company is. I reached out to them and said, you know, I bounce off Apple, Spotify, YouTube, and I do so much of this stuff for you guys here, and I need them to, you know, and because I bounce through the free, you know, I've got really good playlists in this one, I've got really good playlists in this one, and Apple Music, I can't really create a playlist. I can create a playlist, but I have to go over to there and find the music because it doesn't give me that recommendation. This thing, <laughs> just is a game changer. Okay, come in, come in for a sec. So what this does is it allows you to synchronize your playlist or transfer your playlist, still leaves that one in place, to any other music streaming provider that you choose. If you just take the free version, which it does, you can transfer one playlist at a time, and it does it. Now, hit me up in the comments if you've used this software before, sound this, but also hit me up in the comments if you've experienced when you use the free version, as I did for a little while, when you do the transfer of the playlist, and let's say for an example you have 20 songs in a playlist, when it gets to the 20th song, for whatever reason, it throws up an error, so it'll only transfer 19 songs, or if you've got 100 songs, it'll only transfer 99 songs. For whatever reason, I don't know. If you do, I've got a good relationship with these guys now, really, really nice people, I can get in touch. However, link in the description below to give you, the guys were so good, they give me my own link to give to you, to give you a discount on if you want the premium version of this software. Because, honestly, it is that good. Because you can then create, you can actually transfer all playlists or copy all playlists to any other platform or to all of your platforms. But not only that, and I'm gonna show you this in a second, you could say, say you are bouncing between, I don't know, maybe you're bouncing between Spotify and YouTube Music, for whatever reason, right? And you end up, while you're on YouTube Music, you hear a particular song, maybe you've got the Google phone and you click on it, and then you add it to your YouTube playlist, for example, because you, know, you get that listening always type thing on, um, and you add it to it, but then you go back to your Spotify, or you're in your car and you're using Spotify, or whatever it might, and it hasn't got all those songs. This thing, which I'll show you, has synchronized. So you can synchronize your two platforms together and whatever you add in one, it synchronizes to the other. And you can either have it check each day, each week, each month, and it will make sure they are both synchronized. So you've got whatever playlist you've got in one, you have the playlist in the other. But is it difficult, Steve? Well, why don't I show you? Okay, this is Soundiz. 
Um, now, for those of you that want to try this, there is a free version. Uh, the free version will allow you to just transfer one playlist at a time. That's all it allows you to do. However, it works. I did find it in the free version though, when you do the transfer of the playlists, and let's say you've got a really long playlist, and I don't know why it might be just something uh, linked to me. Hit me up in the comments if it happens to you because I can report it back to these people um, because I've, I'm working with them. They have actually given me a code that I can give to you to get a discount to use this platform. Um, but just let me know. I can report that back to them. I noticed that the very last song of the free version when you're doing a transfer of the playlist to a, another music streaming, for some strange reason, it seems to foul on the last song. So you'll have, say you've got 20 songs, It'll only transfer 19. I found that, I don't know why. However, with the full version that we have here, which we'll just go into now, this is what it looks like. And I cannot believe just how good and how simple this is. So I have the full version. So um, let, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up my Apple Music. And in here, I have this light coffee. I'm going to delete this light coffee. It's deleted from library, it's gone. Et voila. Now, if you're just wondering what's going on with your screen here, Steve, I've got the new Apple operating system, which I'm working on a video with, and I am using uh, Stage Manager. So let me just click back onto that. Okay. So we have now got rid of that playlist. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that playlist. Okay. So what do I want to do? So I want to click on, so let's say I want to transfer that playlist. A nice little box like this pops up. I'll click on playlists. I will click on, it's in Spotify. And there it is there, like coffee. Now I could select, because I'm a premium user, again, guy, code in the description. Use that code, get the discount. Trust me, you will not be sorry because I'm gonna show you another, an amazing feature if you use multiple streaming apps. Uh, I'm not gonna select all, because uh, I don't need to, I've already done this. Uh, so I'm gonna just select like coffee. I'm gonna select confirm, continue. Okay, so I've got chosen Spotify as my source. I have chosen the playlist that I want to transfer. Now I need to choose where do I want to transfer it to. Just so you know, each platform that you connect to and log in with through Soundies will have the green dot. The ones with the red dots means that you're not connected. So I'm going to choose Apple Music. Well, hang on, what's going on? It's already doing it, so let's show progress. Well, how long is this going to take all those tracks? I mean, it's going to take forever, right? Watch, there's the progress up here. And we're just waiting, two seconds, three, two, one, come on, show me, boom, it's finished. So if I look down here in my batches, there it is there, it's finished. Let's go back to our Apple Music. There it is, we are back, but can I play it? It's going through my air, air, air. <laughs> it is as simple as that. So when you're sitting there and you've been with, I don't know, Spotify, whoever it is you're with, and you've been there for all those years and you've created hundreds upon hundreds of playlists, and then you're thinking, you know what, Spotify, I don't know what's going on with you, you're buggy, I don't know, you're not doing this right, whatever it might be, whatever your issue might be with that, and you keep thinking, God, you know, I'd love to try Tidal, or I'd love to try YouTube music, but I just cannot compute recreating all my amazing albums and playlists. Here is the answer, sound is. But not only can it do that, what if you're like me, and if you've watched my videos, a link below guys, uh, I'm, you know, or I've got YouTube music, I've got Spotify, I've got Apple Music, and I am currently working on a video for you guys uh, with um, massive requests from you on Amazon Music, the app and the desktop and how it works and some of the new features that they got. So if you're like me and you've got all these playlists for whatever reason that you've got them, and you know, you keep adding music to Spotify and you keep adding music to YouTube when you keep adding music to Apple. And then when you fancy going back to and fro, but you think, oh God, I've not got that song in there. Watch this. So we click on synchronize, synchronize. Uh, and we want to choose, I know, so you've got all your things in here from Apple to Spotify, all the ones that's connected. So let's just say, let's say light coffee. I'm going to click on, uh, let's go down to Spotify, for example. There's my light coffee and I'm gonna click confirm and continue. Then I'm gonna choose Apple Music. And I'm gonna go down to Light Coffee. 
like this. Now, what this is going to do, okay, believe this or not, this is going to synchronize the two playlists together by clicking continue. Now, this is what happens. We can either add tracks, or this mode is not available for this destination. Let's see why, why is it doing that? Let's have a quick look. Uh, the feature is not available for moving or syncing to Apple Music. Okay, so there's not much we can do in that. However, we can just add tracks. But once you do this, we can set the frequency. So if we're adding a song every week, then we wanted to sync it every week and we can choose the time zone that we do that. And what happens is we can save that configuration or we can select each day or we can select each month. Now, I'm not gonna do this obviously, uh, I don't need to do this, but what that will do is if I add a track in one, it will synchronize and add the track in the other. If I add the track in the other, it will synchronize and add the track in one. It synchronizes the two. So no matter what platform you go to, your music is identical. Boom! <laughs> Has your brain just exploded? What? What? Yes. You can even do platform to platform. Let's go. So we can even synchronize the entire platform to another platform. I think it says exactly what it says on the tin. I mean, <laughs> again, that easy. I mean, come on guys, how good is that? I mean, seriously, how good is that? It is unbelievable. Again, I cannot stress enough, these guys are fantastic. It's simple, it's easy to use, it's quick. And you know, if you have headaches like I do, yes, I know I might be a little bit extreme because I, do, I am really into the music streaming and I do all these reviews for you guys, which is why I need you to really hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, people. And uh, make sure you hit the like and notification bell, please. It means so much to me. And it lets the YouTube algorithms know that you enjoyed the video. But more importantly, share this out. You know, if you've got people that are looking at this stuff you know like i just said you know i'm you know i'm testing amazon music right now and i'm building a video um, because of some of the new features because I, I checked amazon music out before it was a bit clunky didn't like it however they made some serious updates and the sound quality okay could be a contender watch this space hit the subscribe because that video is coming but for now sound is link in the description below there is a code in the description below for you lovely people to join um, and if you don't want to pay for the premium check out the free version you can transfer one playlist at a time because if you're anything like me and you want to get that playlist across to there or you want to synchronize or whatever and you don't want to sit there manually doing it bit by bit and finding each song this thing does it in a snap so thank you for watching, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your lovely support. I wanna hear more of your comments. I love reading your comments down below. Thank you for all your support. Until the next time, peace out.